Welcome everybody to Express. I'm going to be showing you today how to master the meta optics. First of all, let's try to understand the Shopify meta optics. For that, I'm going to be using this website that we created a few weeks ago. I'm going to leave you a link down below in the description just in case you haven't claimed it your online store with a huge deal. So, what are exactly these uh, meta optics? You can find those directly inside your content. Inside the content, we can see that we have the meta optics. So the meta optics based into Shopify, they are a powerful way to add custom multi-field objects inside your store, using them to display unique information like card sales, site guides, and product highlights. So this one is gonna be really helpful for people who are selling more than just one product and more than just one category. So how can we get started by exploring the meta fields? So let's dive into the power of the meta fields. Let's how to create the manage and utilize meta fields to add custom information to your products, variants, collections, and so much more. So meta fields are a little bit more different than meta optics, and they don't appeal here into the, into the actual uh, content, but directly into, into the products. So I'm gonna hit now into one product, for example. And here I'm gonna focus inside here, inside my product organization. Now here into the product organization, a little bit down, of course, I do have the variants and all of this. All of this information is the actual meta fields. So this is gonna be helping the customers to find out what they're looking for much more faster. For example, the specifications, the colors, uh, the size, that totally depends on what you're actually selling. And of course, here's the images of what I am actually selling. So if you wanted to change that out, you want to add more stuff, speaking about meta fields, let's go into settings. And inside settings, let's go for the custom data that you can see here, which says notification, branch, languages, and much more. I hit now into custom data. And now as you see here are all my meta fields. So I have everything about the products, variants, collections, customers, orders, and so much more. I can go here, for example, into variants, and I can add more variants and add more definitions. So if I hit now into add definition, I can go for the name, the name is based on the key, the description, the type of the actual uh, stuff, the axis of the store fronts and the features. So whether it's modifying product pages, customizing collections or enhancing the shop experience, this steps allow you to harness the full potential of the meta objects into your theme. So if I click here inside my content, I gotta go for meta objects. I'm gonna create my first uh, meta opt definitions to add a single field of course we want to go into the meta fields as we just did before and it's going to be showing you exactly the same thing that we added here now i'm going to go back and move on for the actual definition of a meta object definition for example let's say that i wanted to get started with an actual bundle if i just typed bundle i'm going to of course do this bundle here are the fields to define the object structure through a group of fields. For example, the single line. And here I can type like one value, two values, or much more. In this case, I'm going to go and look out for a product. Now here into the product, I'm going to look out for one product or a list of a specific products. And here is the key of the bundle. Let's say, for example, that this is my key, uh, PZ bundle description. This is a bundle for PZ gamers and add it. Now I have one field here added. I can add a new meta field option definition. For example, like one file or in a specific date or a single line or in a specific page or even an actual color. So let's say for example, color schemed. Now I wanted to get started by selecting one product so I can make the definition of the meta object that I just found it. So in this case, I'm gonna, let's say for example, okay, I don't know, maybe this one. Now I'm gonna add my bundles for the product. One, two, and three. And here are my three products. Color, only one of those. And search engine listing, I'm gonna just leave this like that. And the status of course should be active. And I hit now into save. And this one is now been active. So if I go back inside my meta object, here are uh, my actual references. You can even create my meta object template, but inside the actual editor, which in this case is going to be here, create meta object template. And of course, here's my entry. And there you have it, like a really easy way to add and use the meta objects 
inside your website. I'm gonna hit now into save. Doesn't look that bad, but it can be done a little bit much more better. But this is like a really easy way to use meta objects. Just in case you wanted to have more information about the meta objects, what I actually did is to learn more about all of this directly into the Shopify uh, section of the community. We have learned a lot of meta objects. We have learned a lot of everything here into Shopify with the actual topics and the manual stuff. So guys, with all of this information said, uh, I'm going to leave you a link down below in the description, guys, just in case you wanted to get started once again into your online store totally for free. You have the link down below in the description. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys. Hopefully, this was a very useful information for you guys to understand a little bit much more about the meta objects and more information about uh, Shopify. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys. Hopefully, we can all see you next time.